Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 54 in chapter 4. In this one, we look at this system and then we give them name. So this one is number 1, number 2, number 3 object. And then we need to determine the tension on this number 3, right? On this number 3. So it looks like the tension on number 3, F3 need to equal to this one. So now we do the free body picture and see how it works. First one, at the number one, it must have gravity and the tension, right, Ft. Second one, it have gravity and tension. And these two tension must be same because they come from the same cable. The cable we don't is massless, so it, the force need to be equal everywhere. And then and we look at number three, so we have the tension act on the number three, this one. You agree this system and this one also ft and then fc so you can see for this object three it is stationary it never move so that means the net force is zero so fc near to equals two times ft do you agree sure so it look it looks like if we need to determine this tension fc we need to find ft so we need to find ft so can we do find ft Sure, because we can look at the number one and the number two. You can see at the number one and the number two, obviously number two, the mass M2 is larger than M1, right? So when, when we release it, of course, these two motion will move. M2 will move in this way. M1 will move in this way. Do you agree? Yes. So there is a motion, so that means there is acceleration we can consider. And also this acceleration is same in this system because it's connected with this cable. So we can write in Newton's second law. We can say M2G um, just uh, minus Ft equals M2A acceleration is there. And then Ft, this one, minus M1G equals mass M1 times acceleration A, right? This, this two is Newton's second law. So can you get it? Because the acceleration is in opposite direction. For M2, it is down. For M1, it is up. So that is how we write this two equation. So because it is down, so we use gravity minus the tension equals the mass times acceleration. And then because it's up, we use the Ft minus M1g, we choose the up as positive. Now we can solve these two equations, find the tension and find the acceleration, right? So first thing, you can find the acceleration. So you input Ft inside, then you can get the equation. Look like that, you get acceleration. Then input the acceleration in the in these two equations, you get the tension of Ft. After you get the Ft, this tension on these two cable. See, you get the two the tension on these two cable. Then input is Ft in this equation. You get the tension on the object number three. This is how we solve the problems. So you can see first one we use Newton's second law on this Ma and M M2 to write these two equations and get the acceleration and also get the tension. Finally, we can get the um, tension on the FC. Thank you.